here's um, some more closet spinning. Most of the time when people sell bunny, it's going to be very pristine and in long locks. But if you happen to get a very good deal on some Angora fiber that says that good for felting, you m still ask what, what the length of the fiber is if you want to spin it, not felt it. This bunny is not... Okay, you can see I'm pulling off a little thing. This was just straight from shearing. I didn't lay things down nicely in a plastic doohickey or anything. I just cut it quickly off the bunny. Had to get... No, no. Usually I shear my bunnies prior to a medical procedure because I don't want them to roast or mat while I'm recuperating. Um, so this was done real quickly. So there's going to be some short stuff that I put aside and usually I put it aside for bunny nests and things. But um, so here is this is not your pristine bunny clipping. This is what others would probably list as felting, but it still goes for a few dollars an ounce. So if you're if you can save money, you might want to try it. Well here I go. I'm just taking the wad, I'm trying to keep this up in the camera's view. Taking the wad and from it does it seem odd that I spin in my closet? I have a big closet. <laughs> so I um and I have grandchildren allergic to rabbits, so this is kind of a good spot to do my rabbit so that um, fiber isn't around her. I have a studio my husband built me, which is glorious, but at night when everybody else is in the house, I feel like coming in the house. Okay, so I'm just taking this by the bunny um, handful and doing this. When you pluck, this was sheared not plucked. When you pluck it comes off in little bits at a time and that's usually when people lay it in the plastic container or mailing box that they're going to do. But it's really quite nice in this condition when it says good for felting. Quite often that means part of the bits are felted but not completely. They may be um, kind of tangled up on themselves and the shear just didn't have time to brush out the bunny and go through the whole process. She just wanted to get the hair off the bunny and is now selling it for felting. But if you're a spinner, go ahead and try to felt it. Now if I find something that's um, not wanting to tease apart, I'll just put that aside and use that for novelty yarn, um, bunny nest, something. Oh, well, there you go. Mm, if you can see that. I just usually keep moving the wad around and finding a new spot. And usually, I don't know, just starts, sometimes it just drafts out better from a different de direction. So after I get a handful spun, I'll just fluff it up a bit and start spinning from another part. I could spin this very, very evenly, or I could spin it lumpy. Just depends on how much of it I um, let. I guess if I let lumps pass through my fingers. But since this isn't as long as a staple as, um, say, one I was just really bunny, I was really fussing over. This is an ideal way to do it. It's kind of like cotton that it's kind of wound.